Hi, sweetie. May I work on you today? I didn't even ask you. Okay, I'm going to do a little work on you, but I'm going to be so gentle you won't even notice it. So now I'm just feeling that atlas. And that one I will adjust by hand because I can. And it's just the lightest little, little flick. One, two, three, flick. That's it. RS was founded in 2007 by my partner Christina Chavis um, and we have been in the rescue business ever since. Animal Rescue R Us is an organization that really doesn't turn away dogs. If we're able to help, we will. We take a lot of special needs. We take seniors, we take nursing moms, we take families, um, and we really try not to say no if we don't have to. If someone wanted to make a monetary donation, they can send it via Venmo or Cash App. We also have an Amazon wish list, and we'll put that link in the description box below. So we're in for a treat today. We have this great dog named Etsy and they're coming up now. And Chris is the owner and this is Etsy. I never met Chris before. Nice to meet you. Hey, Dr. Doug. Hi. Cool shoes. Thank you. Very cool. Good I try color. to try to break out the wheels for the uh, for the Animal Cracker videos. And this is my Animal Cracker shirt. Adorable. I also have a human channel where I work on people, but this is definitely the animal time. Now, who do we have here? This is Etsy. She's a seven-year-old rat terrier. Oh, she's the cutest. She is the cutest. She's so sweet. And we adopted her from Animal Rescue R Us. You did? Okay. We did. So we have um, Jennifer is in all the different videos. This one she's not going to be in, but we're going to get a little clip of her explaining Animal Rescue. And how many years ago did you adopt? Seven years. Seven years ago. Yep, she's all our right. baby. So let's walk over here. I have a box set up where we can use as a platform. And... Um, Tell us a little bit about, now I had rat terriers. Um, I had two throughout my life and I love rat terriers. They're oh, really, we do too. She's yeah, wonderful. they're really great. But um, here, step up close and we're gonna both hold this with our hips. Sure. So that it stabilizes the box. So you, you'll never move away. And you yeah. can hold her till we're ready to go because we're gonna okay. talk for a minute. And that sure. way she stays warm. It is a little chilly out here today. Maybe for, for Etsy. So Maybe. Etsy, um, uh, did you, did Jennifer name her Etsy or did you when you No, took my her wife home? did. Yeah, that's named a cool her Etsy name. after one of her favorite websites. Uh, yeah, it is a cool website. I just bought something for my office uh, on Etsy, uh, Etsy that I really love. It's this room divider that almost looks like a piece of art. They have great stuff yeah, on there. Gr great stuff. Um, now, what's her condition? Because it's it's um, she's she's got a serious. She condition. has a spine, a uh, fused spine. Okay. And a degenerative bone issue. Okay, did they call it a spondylosis? Yes. Okay, so spondylosis is a chronically, um, it's like very advanced arthritic spine. And if you, I'll, I'll try to find an image that we can put on, on, on this video, like an x-ray image, because there's a lot on Google. But you'll see yes. the ventral or the belly part where the, um, the edges of the spine, it's called lipping. So a lipping means it comes, and I'm going to do a lip for you like it pulls out like this and then the other bone pulls out like this I know this is funny but it's true it's called lipping and spurring so it creates spurs and lipping now those vertebrae should be nice little boxes but imagine a box with that lipping or that pulling out and eventually they come to the point where they even confuse did they say if there was any fusing on on her on her spine yes. yeah so she had fusing and so that's pretty advanced um, there's really no known cure for that, so it's not like I'm going to work on her today and I'm going to cure her. Um, that doesn't happen. So then why would I even work with Etsy today? Um, Chris is probably asking the same question. I don't know. Why would you even work on Etsy today? But think about this. If your body was arthritic and if everything gave you aches and pains and you got out of bed in the morning and you were stiff and achy and as the day went on you might loosen up a little bit, but for the most part you're always achy and stiff. Wouldn't you want a back rub? Wouldn't you want a massage? Wouldn't you want someone to help maybe mobilize your joints a little bit to kind of get the kinks out? And one thing we do know with arthritis is arthritis uh, is 
alleviate it a little bit or palliative care, meaning not curative care, but palliative is movement. So movement is good. And maybe I should, could also show Chris a few things today so that we can, um, you know, so he can just give as much comfort to Etsy as possible. And I know that might be disappointing. People go, oh, is he going to just crack her and fix her? No, I'm, I'm not. And I'm not even going to try because if I do a forceful adjustment, then um, that could also hurt her. And she's just a little little thing, and she's very fragile. Oh, yeah, she's so, seven pounds, so, I think. So we have to do a, an appropriate adjustment. It's going to be so light, you guys aren't going to see much. And more than adjusting, I'm going to do body work. I do a lot of doggy massage, so I'm going to be massaging any points that I find are uh, extreme muscle knots and try to mobilize the hips just by movement, just by movement, getting these things to move a little bit and getting the body to move. And that's really a gift to give anybody that feels that stiff. I also have an instrument that I use on people and I can use on dogs too. It's called an activator. Um, I got this one 22 years ago and I have new ones in my office that are all electronic, but I like the older one for dogs even better because I can control the impulse. So I open up the weight of this and up here is weighs about two grams. This is the weight of it up front. And I'm able to do a very light tap. It's almost imperceptible. Let me do it to your fingertip. So I'm gonna adjust the tip of his finger. And now I can make oh, it sure even tolerate that. Now I can even make it softer, watch. And even softer. She'll tolerate whatever you yeah, do. Yeah, so that's She's really soft. Girl. The only thing that will startle her is the noise. Now yep. on a human I can turn it all the way up and make it really strong. But on a dog we or a, or a child, we would turn it all the way down. Or uh, let's say a senior with osteoporosis. So it's very soft, but this allows me not to, and what I'm most concerned about is I don't want to over adjust today. I don't want to go, oh, wow, I went too far. So sure. this will prevent that. And the other reason is because I can control the, um, the weight of it or the force, and I can also control the distance so that so most depth. of this will travel is like a millimeter. So I won't get too big of a thrust. Sure. And think about it, if I'm adjusting human and I push down on their, they're lying on their belly and I push down and I go, boom. You know, the spine can go like this. Which sometimes feels awesome because oh, it yeah. cracks and everybody loves it. But on a little dog like this that has spondylosis, we don't want to over, or she'll get really achy. So we won't do that. And I just also want you to know, Chris, that I'm, um, that um, I'm much more conservative than you could possibly even imagine. Sure, I believe in with you. Dogs. And, and um, humans, I'm a little aggressive, but with animals, I'm super, super light. So now we're gonna start. We're gonna have Etsy just uh, be in front of us. Sure. We're gonna both put our hips into, the, into there to stabilize the box. And you could see her roundness here. Let's get from the side. So she's all rounded up and she's literally standing on her hocks. So these bones here in the back are the tarsals, the metatarsals. And then the hock is this, um, this joint right here where my thumb is. And she should be up on the pads of her feet like she does on her um, front feet, right? But her back feet, she's literally standing like this. Um, and she does that because that's how she can find stability. So quadrupeds, same with uh, bipedal people like humans, but quadrupeds are always looking for uh, the spot that they feel most stabilization and they're dealing with gravity and she feels like she can't handle being up on her paws so she has to stabilize by putting a broader surface on the back she's very camped under and that's more of a horse term but i use it for dogs too and here hold her for a minute i'll show you what camped under is i mean we could see it on her but if i was on all fours i'm going to be up here like this right and so we want me to be really back here but she tucks under like this, and that's called camped under, where the hips come all the way under in hope of stability. On, um, and so that means something is either in pain or is wrong, or they don't have the stability to really create a, a great four-point stance. So back again, let's keep going. I'm trying to educate as we go. Um, now I'm going to check proprioception first, so I'm going to turn her knuckles down and she immediately fixes it. That's a good sign. And she immediately fixes it. So what that means is, hi sweetie, may I work on you today? I didn't even ask you. Okay, I'm going to do a little work on you, but I'm going to be so gentle you won't even notice it. 
Um, if they're not getting nervous system response down the leg, you'll move their leg into an uncomfortable position like knuckles down and they just leave it there. Go back and look at my videos with Nina, uh, which I just posted uh, this week. Uh, and we would turn her knuckles down and she would leave it there for like 10 minutes. She can't even recognize that her foot's in a weird position. So that means there's a real disconnect neurologically, but she doesn't have that in the front. So let's look at the back next. I'll have you hold her and support her, sure. Chris. And now I'm gonna turn the knuckles down on the back and see if she corrects it. She does, but not great. So she doesn't have great, I wouldn't give her a perfect score on the back. Let's see this little one. And here, give her a little weight. So l let her hold her own weight for a minute. As she does, she knows that she doesn't like that. But the strangest thing, not strange to me, but the strangest thing visually that you guys should see is how rounded her back is and how um, she's standing on her, well, that's her hock, but she's standing on her metatarsal bones to create stability. Now, can she walk at all? Yes. Okay, that, which is a miracle if you think about it. Absolutely. You know, so I'm, now you hold her enough that we know she won't fall. Okay. And I'm gonna check her little atlas. And I'm coming in between um, the wing of the atlas and the spacing between the base of her skull. And I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit. I wanna turn her head this way. She has good lateral flexion left. A little worse on the right little stiffer that way. This side is great. Look, she can almost bring her nose all the way to um, her rib cage. And this side, there's a little restriction. So I'm going to look for a little misalignment on the lower right. Now, let's bring the head up and down. So here's up and here's down. It goes down easy, but it doesn't want to come up easy. So when she, um, does she have to lay in her belly to eat? No, she stands. Wow. She's incredible, really. She really is. We're so lucky. Yeah. So now I'm just feeling that atlas. And that one I will adjust by hand because I can. And it's just the lightest little little flick. One, two, three, flick. That's it. Now let's recheck, bring your head up again. A little more. So now I am gonna use the activator on the posterior arch of the atlas, especially on the right. I'm gonna have this on the lightest setting, Chris, so you see how light it is. Oh, she'll handle that. Yeah, it's so light. Ready? I'm gonna bring your head up now. All the way, got it. So, and she's licking. Now horses do a lot more of the licking, but dogs can do it too. And it's just a sign of parasympathetic nervous system response to what we just did. And it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's an integration of into the nervous system of what we just did. So I adjusted her atlas in two places. I adjusted the superior wing of the right atlas, and I also adjusted the posterior arch from posterior to anterior. And it's, it's coming up nicely now. That's how, how it should be. Good, so we just gave her better range of motion. Now remember I said she had right lateral flexion tension there. I love this. This is so cute. Okay, Etsy, you're so cute. She's Valentine's Day already. Yeah, so she's already. Um, From something to wag about. Yeah. Now, I don't know when we'll post this video, but today is the 12th, right? February 12th? Yes. So two days is Valentine's Day, but she's already got her gear out. So I'm going to adjust C5 on the right, really gentle. And then we're going to recheck lateral flexion and see if we gave her a little bit of range of motion help. It's not coming over as much as I want, but it came over much more. Let me see if I can rub that out. So instead of adjusting it now, I'm gonna rub the muscles. And may I touch your neck for a second, Chris? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so I'm coming into here. He's got different things on there, but I'm, you, you can, okay. So I'm coming right into there, but Chris is a big guy, so I'm gonna rub this muscle hard. But do you feel that right there? Yep. Because I did find one on him. And I'm gonna do the same thing to her, but like in a gentle little pinky way. I could literally use my pinky. And she's shaking because it's also, well, one of the things she is she shakes. She shakes. Another, it is a little chilly out here, but she shakes. She's a right? shaker. Absolutely, especially in new situations. Yeah. That's her anxiety leaving her body. So now let's recheck it. So I just rubbed out that muscle on the, just the one, same one I did on Chris. Now I'm going to bring the face all the way around. She's fighting you a little bit. 
and it comes all the way around. Let's do it one more time. There it goes, all the way. Let's turn her this way just a little to the camera. And you're going to keep supporting her, and we're going to just show that range of motion all the way around. Good. All right. Now we're back to uh, back to um, center again, and I'm going to come down, come down the back, and now we're getting into where the real problem area is. So pretty much from here to here is where she has the most arthritis. Here's a high spot here. Here's her little uh, sacred tu uh, tuber sacralis, which is the little high spots of where the ilium meets the sacrum. And then right here in the middle would be the sacral base. Um, she has seven lumbars and 13 thoracics and seven bones in the neck, seven cervical bones. And I'm just gonna check all these little muscles here. And I'm going to just do a little impulse just to feel what it feels like. And I'm going to put my hand under her belly. So uh, let's switch hands. So you take the chest and I take the belly. Sure. Oh, she's going to stand up. And I'm just putting a little motion in. I'm not going to thrust. She's so patient. She's let me do it, right? She's wonderful. Okay, she's getting, she does have a little bounce to the, to the spine, which is really nice. Um, so I'm feeling um, it undulates a little bit, which is nice. It's not like a rigid bar, which I thought it would be. So she does have some motion in there. I'm going to do a few little taps down the spine. I think I'll line up on the spinous because that's the strongest point. And I'm going to do little spinous taps on this whole area. And this will give a little bit of a thrust, but only, like I said, about a millimeter depth I have it set on. She's always stiff with new people more than usual. Okay, now I'm gonna bring her legs straight back. If she lets me. Doesn't really wanna move that hip too much. And so I already know that the leg doesn't wanna come back. So what I mean is I can bring her, her lower limb her lower part of her leg back, no problem. But here, look at my legs. Here, you hold her, Chris. I'm gonna okay. walk away up, out here. So what she does, what she's willing to do, is just bring this leg up. What she's not willing to do is bring the thigh back. So watch, that's the thigh back. She'll just do this, bink, bink. But this is actually so up in the chest that it rounds the back. And then she lays down on, on her, um, if it was a, it's the, it's the back leg, but if it was the front leg, she's, she literally is standing on her, her forearms. It's not called the forearms and the back leg, but picture you on your forearms if they were back legs. And uh, see if I can find a trigger point to help release some of that so she won't have it so pulled in, tucked under or camped under. So now we're gonna have her, you'll hold the chest again. Sure. And that's what I'm going underneath. I'm going into here into there because that muscle when it is in a state of hyper contraction will bring the leg into the chest the the thigh bone and I'm, I found it already so I'm on the iliopsoas and notice the leg wants to come longer right now it's not it's camped under I mean it's Instead of it being up like this, it's now starting to go a little longer. I might even have her hold up this way, okay? So you could see what I'm doing. I'm in here. And you, you'll see when I go to the other side, you might be able to see where my fingertip is.
see it's really jacked up. This is a stretch you might be able to do a little bit. Oh, absolutely. So, do that. my thumb is over her thigh bone. Okay. Her femur. And I'm just, I'm not, I don't have a goal to get it straight. Mm -hmm. So, you just need to move it a centimeter and, and hang out there. Sure. But that's a stretch for her. Oh, yeah. She's in her stretch if I move it one centimeter. And now it comes back up again. Do you see? I do. Now I'm going to put my thumb up there. Chicken wing. It is like a little chicken wing. And I'm asking her to lengthen or bring the thigh bone down. And I got a little more this time. And I'm going to let it go again. Okay, you're so great. She really is. And I'm bringing that down again. Take a breath, okay? I'm gonna breathe right now. You're such a good dog. Okay, I'm going to switch hands, okay? Ready? One, two, three. You okay? Can we do the other side? What do you think? Let's do the other side. Okay, so we're going to get in here first. I'm going to start with the muscle. Right in there. She's shaking a little less. Let's do a wider shot on her. Do you see her? I mean, she's still quivering, but she's not shaking like a leaf. And I hold that. I'm in there pretty deep. Do you guys see that? Now I'm going to go back to the top of the thigh bone and start to get some length again. This one's really guarded. Sorry, baby. you got to give me a little leverage on it, okay? All right, let me get my hand better. There you go, I'm under, under the arms now, nice. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit at a time on this. All right, good dog. There we go, so I got a good grip. My thumb is over your little femur, and I'm starting to get some length. Hold, and release. Hold and release. Hold and release. Hold, release. Ooh. There it goes. Good doggy. Oh, good doggy. There you go. Look at that. Everybody clap. Everybody clap right now. If you're watching, that is incredible. That might be the first time her leg's been long like that in a long time. Oh, yeah. Did you see her go you did long? Good job. Did, I did you see that? I'm so proud of you. Oh, my gosh. You're so great. Okay, let's see if we can get a little more out of that left leg now that we know it's possible, okay? So let's not give up yet, okay? So now I'm not cracking her, I'm just trying to, I'm doing physical therapy. This is physical therapy, okay? Ooh, that just popped a little bit. But that's just a ligament. Okay, ooh. Release. Ooh. 
release. Release. Stretch. 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 Hold. Hold. Release. And we breathe. And then we kiss. Time to kiss. Okay? Let's do a little bit more. This side's a little tighter, I think. Let's do one more round, okay? You ready? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me that leg go strong. Put it out. Put it out. Come on, a little more. Oh, God. Nice. I think that's where we're going to get out of that one today. Okay. Let's have Dad come back. And I'm going to give you Etsy, okay? I think you guys should leave comments for her, okay? And encourage her. And the community always does. Thanks for seeing Etsy today, Doc. <laughs> it's, it's great. Yeah, it's been it's, a great it's visit. It's very uh, emotional for me to work on your dog. Thank you. So um, I'm very caught up with this dog. Thank you so much, Etsy. Um, you touched my heart today. Dr. Dog, enjoy I'm your day. I'm a mess. But, you know, your dog is great. Thank you. Enjoy your day, Dr. Dog. Hi, sweetie. May I work on you today? I didn't even ask you. Okay, I'm going to do a little work on you, but I'm going to be so gentle you won't even notice it. So now I'm just feeling that atlas, and 